on average. Okay, let's talk about this engagement right here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I still haven't caught up yet. <laughs> I'm at three. I'm at three forty forty two. Yep. So you've got six. You got the mini patrol. That's what the six clan rat spawn is, and you've got a gunner coming to your right. Even if that gunner is about to get the bead on you, who cares? You have a one-handed weapon. You can just dodge, do block dodge out around the corner and take zero damage. You are literally at zero risk right now. Right? Does that make sense? Like, you yep. have no, there's no threat to you right now on the map whatsoever. The only question is whether or not you kill this with pace and make progress or don't. That's it. So you decide to go for a crossbow shot and you try to wait for a second to line it up. And you got a little distracted with it. That's fine. That's how you practice is trying to take the shots until you hit it. Like right here is what you should have done. But it's fine. It's fine. You took the shot late, which is also fine. Quick switch. You have a choice to make here. They're right on top of you. Your feeling is, oh, I need space and there's pressure from my right, so I should walk back to my left. But you know what's going to happen if you do that? Everything's, uh, the gunner's going to Forget the gunner. In the gunner doesn't follow. even matter. You already have vision to your right. You already know he doesn't matter. But even if he does matter, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to get away. What's going to happen if you move back into the left right now at 340.43? Uh, wait, let me pull it up again. Because I've got your stream. It's hard to flick between two. The time delay. So you just fire the crossbow bolt for coming at you straight on. If you pull back into the left, what's going to happen? So while he's doing that, basically the idea here is what I'm trying to get him to see, is to reduce the game. Right now, he, or I should say, make it more granular. Right now, he sees rat soup a lot of the time, right? What does rat soup mean? It means there's some number of targets around in front of me. There's some number of them. They're either dense or not dense, and they're over here or over here. But I wanted to get to the point of the sea is where he sees and anticipates individual rats, or at least he makes decisions based off of each individual rat and what's going on, what those rats are doing relative to you and where you are relative to them, right? So if you're thinking Diablo, Diablo 2 terms, pulling back here is correct because pulling back just means more space. You're linearizing the fight, keeping the gunner away. Pulling back makes sense, but why does pulling back not make sense here, Distance? What's going to happen? Oh, yeah, so he trigger all the running attacks. Correct. So what yeah. is the correct move instead? Which way should you move uh, and how should you move? Push forward, push through him, get the cover from the wall. Not forward. F to the right. Exactly, the wall. Yeah. Pull the falchion yeah. out, dodge the initial attack, s the na initial rat or two, while slashing the follow-up rat. Right? There's going to be two, maybe even three waves of running attacks here. The first guy, the second guy, the third guy. Dodge the first yep. one, slash the next two. Yep. Instead, you go for a push. Push is a, a sp You did push and pull back, which is like the worst possible opener. Yeah, give him more, t way too much distance. It's going to make it take forever. Yep. And by pulling back yet again, you, not only did you only control one rat with that, Right instead of all of them, so you're not really gaining much initiative. Then you pull back again, so the next one's going to do a running attack. So you have another choice: you have to block or push again. It's just like it's just perpetuating the issue and putting you in a worse and worse position yep. every time. Your initiation stinks, and this is why. You got to go forward. One, two, three, four running attacks. You triggered all four running attacks and gave ground up. So paradoxically, if you want to play safer and more efficiently, um, I wouldn't have drank. Only because, you know why? Um, there's almost always, like, 70-80% of the time there's a med kit at the start of event one. And then you yeah. gotta add your draft still. Yeah. But I could see, my, if I peeked over this my, my, corner... My thinking was, was uh, I didn't know it. how soon there was going to be a horde. So I did want to get caught by a horde before or just after I dropped down and then not have time to get a med pack off. I probably would have rushed yeah. that, that um, Storm Vermin a little bit. Just because you're correct, you're really close to the next Horde yeah. timer. But what I wouldn't do, you were correct to look over the Waterfall before you go down. 
Because every so often, you're going to look down and you're going to see two or three storm vermin with yeah. accompanying 15 clan rats. You should be down already. You should trigger run in them. Because now you're almost certainly going to get a horde. But it's okay. Wow, that was a Kobe shot and a half. Be careful. Gas rat. Gas rat. Incoming. No, 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 no. <laughs> Forward. Run at him. It's fine. Just go around him. You can walk around him as he's firing. Does that make sense? You can yep. circle him. So you could have gone forward, hit him with one crossbow bolt, done a manual reload, a, 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 a timed your reload to get a second shot off, or even not, and just done a slash or two while you go down the waterfall. And now you got the horde. Uh, and backwards is the wrong one he's here. What's wrong about every area in this suck? There's no good wall scoot spot here. You know yep. where there's an absolutely beautiful wall scoot spot? Down. Yeah, and you know what else you already did? You looked ahead. Did you see any storm vermin? Yeah, exactly. You already know it's basically clear. This was totally wrong. Oh my god. Suck. You must be on 60 FPS. Are you on 60 FPS? Yep. Okay, because else there's no way you make that shot. I think I see why you did it now. Did you do it because of all the, the bombs were there? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. I still think it's a mistake, though. Okay, you were just fighting into hyperdensity like it was seven rats, but it was ten. Um, the correct move here, you were correct to engage here. This was correct. But when you do it, you're not going back and forth, back and forth. You're going forward, smacking, and then giving up a slightly more ground, and then forward, smacking, giving up slightly more ground. Does that yep. make sense? You're doing a yep. fighting retreat, and it's even better if instead of going forward, backwards, you're kind of going to the sides, like crab walking, like this, and then like this, and then like this. By doing that, you trigger much less running attacks, because the name of the game here is maintain spacing from hyperdensity, because you never want to close with hyperdensity. I don't care what weapon you have. DPS, right? What the hell was the third thing? And minimize running attacks. Yeah. This was this was pretty good though. You're getting it. See, see, you're getting it. You're doing it perfectly now. You're crab walking back, and then you transitioned from you transitioned from jousting or crab walking back to wall scooting. That was very nice. Just the execution was only okay, but it was it was very yeah. correct. What you did there was absolutely conceptually yeah. I think correct. I was flustered by the lamp pole. Yeah. There's a lot of little spots in that. here. Yeah. I fucking spanked through all my ammo. You'll be fine. You don't need any more. Fuck it. No, this is a huge mistake. Follow me. But the thing is, you're almost certainly going to make it anyways. And there it is. There was the med kit the whole time. So you could have been here two minutes earlier, right? Less yep. flustered with the same amount of supplies. If you'd put it pushed aggressively at like any point, yep. if you push the gas rat aggressively, if you push the gunner aggressively, if you push the storm vermin aggressively, if you push the clan rats aggressively, if you'd done any of those aggressively, you would have been here two minutes earlier with the same supplies, less flustered. Okay, it's a great location. So some of the reasons this is a great location is the the waterfall can insta pounce you if you stay in this corner, or not insta pounce you. They can pounce you from waterfall. Yeah, so um, you... I'm pretty sure on this one I've got disabled as turned off. Okay, that's fine. So, I think it's, a good, it's a good way to learn. I was yeah. going to say though, so uh, if you get, the, if you get the, the problem assassin, is now is with the rattling guns buffed. That could actually be hard too. Yeah, it's. I, I think it's actually worse than disablers. So interesting. Well, yeah, it somewhat depends on your setup. I was gonna, yeah. What I was just going to say is that if you get an assassin, you tuck in the left corner, not the right corner. Yeah. Um, and if you get a gunner and you're under pressure, what you have to do is you have to come forward so, to trigger them where you want to trigger them and then pull back into your cover. Yeah. So you have to be able to push out and retract, pull ash out and retract until you've covered everything else, and then you can kill the gunner at your leisure. But if you, if you play at sissy and you wait the whole time, you're just waiting for the inevitable when he walks around the corner and you still have 10 clan rats and a storm vermin in front of you and then you're in panic and maybe you crutch bomb or something. I should start calling it crutch bombing instead of clutch bombing. Yeah. It is with the trinket nowadays. Okay, yes, good. Go left where there's less pressure. Now back right, good. You should have pinged that storm vermin. This is fine. He's fine. It's a fine location. Ooh, that push was wrong. That was very nice, though. 
That shot was very nice. Was that a bump? Was that a bump headshot? Uh, Do you have to have bow in? Why did that go so wrong? So trying to maintain initiative when you do a bump shot. So if you do a bump shot, you push, gives you a second of control. You can control the storm vermin. You headshot the storm vermin. Unfortunately, when you go to switch back to melee, they're already on your case. You have, I haven't really done a video, but I was thinking about doing a follow-up video to my combat video where I talk more about these concepts. So initiation, initiative. Unfortunately, they're the same word, and I should come up with a different word. But initiation is how you start from neutral, right? Where you don't have initiative, they have initiative. They don't have initiative. Right now, after you do a bump shot, you give them initiative. In other words, they're already about to start smacking you or in the process of smacking you, and you're flat-footed. You're just pulling out your weapon. You're behind. That's why I like dodge attacking into rats, right? Because that means you're already attacking before they even start doing anything. Neutral is you both start attacking at roughly the same time. You don't have initiative because you just did a bump shot. So how do you regain initiative? The correct way, and I believe in most cases, is to dodge to the side. The worst, there's two, there's the superior option, if possible, is to dodge around the density to move away from the slotted rats to the passive rats. And then yeah. you automatically regain initiative because they're flat-footed. They're passive, right? Yep. The second so the rats best that scenario. were about to hit you are now out of range anyway, and you've got yes, a new bunch of rats. Yes, and you've got passive, and yep. you've completely yep. regained con initiative uh, instantly. That's why wall scoot is so strong, because it's so easy to regain initiative by switching from slotted rats to passive rats. And also, if you did that by going left, you'd almost certainly shake aggro of the right storm vermin. That would have been a beautiful move, right? The second best move was to dodge back into the right. Not by running backwards first, but by dodging back at the last second. If you run back first, you know what you're going to do. You're going to yep. trigger your slotted rats into running attacks, and that's garbage. But by doing a clean dodge backwards and then running into them, you probably would put them to the point where they've already attacked. They have a slight cooldown, and you're walking forward while attacking. You would regain initiative. Does that make sense? Yep. So either of those moves is correct. Incorrect moves involve anything with just standing there and attacking, pushing, anything like that. Let's see what you do. Oh, I wanted to slow motion this at fight. And the more I talk about this, the more I realize I need to do a follow-up video. This is golden. This is all good. Just simple wall scoot, DPSing as much as possible. See, that was a really nice dodge away from that. And now you're moving back towards passive rats, back towards passive rats. You're shaking the storm vermin. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Gunner. Now left is a worse decision than before. But if you notice, it's not a terrible decision. Because if you go left, the mass of rats is going to be between you and the Gunner. And his line of sight is such that you have the majority of the wall still. He's in a really good spot. Okay, so you see two Storm Vermin aggro on you. And you go for a push, a bump, shot. And you actually hit the other one. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. The bump shot was fine. But watch, they're all swinging at you. You do a push to regain initiative, which is okay. You were actually further in the corner than I thought you were. Let's see if that was correct. You would have had a hard time dodging left, but you could have made it. You good? You good? That push is bad. You panic a little bit. That was terrible. Okay. What should you have done here? Shit. Now, if you'd noticed, you actually had more room to the left than you thought you did. Yeah. That was your mistake. You thought you you were stuck in this little corner. You're you'd reduce the game into a simple heuristic, which is don't leave this corner. And that cor that heuristic was a little wrong, so that made you play a little bit more controlly than you should have. One, two. There's a line of rats in between you and the gunner, which would have taken the majority of the fire. So going left was better. Because you're you're like getting pinned by storm vermin clans. Um, here's another thing: never ever block or push a storm vermin attack. You could all could have dodged. Yeah. Ugh. Waste of stamina. Anyways. And initiative. Yep. Yeah. Don't like these pushes. You're trying to get another bump shot off. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh, no. Half of it is me messing up my um. 
you quick switching? Block cancel. Yeah. Okay. He's with the Fauci and I have real problems. You got always a slightly cool. lucky on the st the gunner the gas uh, the gunner decided to go up, but you've given up your corner and totally surrounded. So second wind's gonna have to trade like save you here. Dodge back, jump, fire, okay, perfect. Right now you can duck out and spam that guy in the face. Where's that flan of Slurm Vermin? You're still not paying the Storm Vermin, which I totally disagree with. Yeah. Because it'll help you maintain visibility of him despite hordes. That's now you're thing, stuck I'm in this corner. I'm usually bang on thing in everything. But on solo. You know, for a bump so shot. Stress. I disagree a little bit with Falchion here, because you could have just headshotted him once or twice. Yes. Because Falchion is so ridiculous. There it is. Boom, boom. 18 damage. In as much time as it takes to fire a crossbow bolt with absolutely zero like execution. The execution on that's so trivial. Okay, you're just taking a step forward, forcing the gunner. Nice shot. Nice shot. I didn't think you get the headshot. That was very nice. So you're crab walking here. Crab walking, crab walking. Excellent. Crab walking. This is absolutely correct. Okay, now you have an opportunity to get out of here. No, you don't. You have a second gunner. It's fine. You've got to reload off here. Tempo is a good word, Kavist. I should use that word for something. 